Hey, I'm showery, man. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Deli Dosalos. Welcome to the channel. What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Deadly Dust of Love. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. You guys seen? <laughs> we went ahead and we're taking a shower. So, you guys are probably wondering, how do we even get to this point? Well, that's what we're going to show you guys in today's video. We're going to be installing the OVS car side shower curtain. Pretty long name, right? The Overland Vehicle Systems car side shower curtain. Well, as I like to call it, the shower. So, you guys seen in the previous video, we installed the Pro Speed exterior panel on the Lexus and we installed the water port uh, on the Lexus. So, now, because of that, we now have to find a way to make sure that we are able to sh take a shower or use the bathroom privately. So, what we are doing is installing the OVS shower curtain, as I like to call it. Nonetheless, that's what we got going on. So. In today's video, we're gonna throw that, install it on the side of the rooftop tent. So, that is what we got going on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get today's video started. Let me show you guys a quick little uh, clip of the, of the shower curtain, whatever you wanna call it, and the mounts that we're gonna be using. And uh, let's go ahead and throw this bad boy on. So in three, two, one, let's get it going. Boom. So, you guys went ahead and seen what we got going on. So I got the shower curtain, and uh, we're actually gonna be using what is the CVT awning mounts that are made for their uh, mount, mount hood tent. And I'm using the single channel since the uh, OBS is a single channel on the bottom. It's not like the best to fit, but what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make it work and you know, um, I think OVS doesn't have a like a mount to mount anything to the awning um, or mount anything to the bottom of the rooftop tent or that bottom single rail but we're going to improvise and do what we can so we're going to use these with the bolt some hardware I found around the house so uh, I wish I had the hardware for you guys in regards to the measurements I don't really have a tool to measure hardware so I ended up just using some bolts and a washer that I had that we're going to use that actually mount and then the hardware from the previous roof rack or the previous uh, awning mount on the shower curtain to mount to the curtain thing here, right here, yeah. So anyways, that's what we got. That's how we're gonna mount it. We're gonna use the CVT mount hood, single rail awning mount uh, to mount it to the tent. Yeah, so anyways. Uh, the reason I went with the OVS is, uh, I actually already had it. It was on the Forerunner previously. Uh, and I didn't have to want to buy another shower curtain because I already had one. And then two, um, again, quality, same thing as the rooftop tent, um, customer service, what is cost and just uh, uh, quality and uh, the backup of the quality, right? So if there's any issues, um, OBS, you know, Overland Vehicle Systems is great at uh, taking care of any sort of issues. Uh, and I haven't had any bad experiences with them personally and what I see online and stuff same I really don't see anyone have bad experiences with them as a company which I think that post sell um, support is a big thing you know especially in this market uh, so anyways yeah that's why we went with OBS uh, anyways let's go ahead and what is show you guys what we got going on on the rooftop tent that's gonna allow us to mount the awning post the awning post the awning brackets yeah you guys know what I'm talking about let's get it all right guys so uh, we're just kind of back here in the back of the lexus so here's the mount right that we're going to be using the cvt on mount so that's this here's the prince mount so this is the low profile one uh that we we're running on this um so we're gonna remove this to install the this well actually i think we're just gonna remove it first to just kind of figure out where to mount it and whatnot and then we'll permanently or not permanently but get this 
situated in here, but let's knock that out real quick. All right, guys, so here's the bottom rail. Here's the gas shock that pushes the tent up, and here's the latch. So I've taped off the latch to kind of figure out where it needs to go, and I got this locking pliers because I'm trying to take this. I got to take off the locking mechanism so I can slide the bolts through here, but pretty much it's going to roll through here so you guys can see, and I think I'm going to try to get it to be like right butted up right against the latch right here and put this right here, over here. Yep. So let's go ahead and we're going to unbolt the latch and what is get this mounted up all right guys so we got the four bolts that i'm going to be using to mount these brackets up so we got those and here's the bracket oh, hold on give me one sec here's how this bracket's going to work up here so you got four bolts and in theory this is supposed to get a gonna go like that see boom just like that now what we are gonna do is um, I did get some washers that I'm going to place in between the bolt and the bracket itself and the reason why is as you can tell since it's not made for this tent um, I mean the curvature of the tent itself is pretty similar to the bracket or I guess probably the CVT I'm sure there's probably a little bit different designs behind it but let's see if I can show you guys why so you can see it kind of doesn't sit very flush so I'm gonna put some washers to kind of push this out to kind of get it to sit a little bit flush there you go just like that boom and then do the one on this side just like that there we go all right guys so here we go we got four m16 bolts here four m16 bolts here and then got some washers and some nuts some washers some lock nylon nuts some split washers and some other washers I'm gonna use here and then that should bolt into these four holes here now this isn't super tight yet but I just left it on there for adjustability but there we go now because I'm out here by myself today I'm gonna mount that up here and then I'll show you guys the results of what it looks like but it's nothing's on there super tight just yet just because we want to be able to adjust it and be able to what is maneuver it until we find the right place for it and then we'll tighten it up but let's knock this out real quick let's throw the bad boy on there all right guys so here's what this looks like you guys have hopefully better detail so i'm gonna tighten it up of course and put more boom here's what it looks like guys so as you guys can see got the nylon nut here with the washer there bolt there with the washer there couple spacer washers so super sunny out here today but uh that's what it looks like i'm gonna finish bolting it up and i think once we get it all bolted up and tined up it'll i'll be able to show you guys a little bit better view of it but look at it here it is where it is so far and as you guys can see it does clear the strut without any issues and I just got to move it a little bit forward, but it does clear the latch. Boom, 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 boom. Without an issue. There we go, boys. Boom. There you guys go. Get yourself one of these little ratcheting wrenches. Yeah. And then make sure they got a little boop, boop, boop head. The head that can like swivel. But anyways, check it out. It is good to go. Got it bolted up. It is squared away. Let me see if you guys have a better view from this side. Hang tight, hang tight. There we go. Boom. Do you guys see on if it'll focus on it there? There it is, boys. And as you can see, it clears pretty much everything that it needs to. Boom. Does not interfere with the gas shock. Does not interfere with the latch. As you guys can see there. There it is. Yikes. Get yourself one of these little stools, man. I'm telling you. It's platforms are other called. Anyways, let's mount the latch back up. Let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. So 
guys go. Got it put on here so as you guys can see. I mean, this is adjustable based to the height of your vehicle. So that's good to go. Not too shabby looking. It's got four tie downs down here in case it's kind of windy, whatnot. But this little built-in bolt to it, which kind of weighs it down and keeps it like squared off. Let's see what the inside looks like. I think there's a zipper in here. One sec. So there we go. There's a zipper on this side. Go in here. Oh, kind of reflective, but it's got a pocket in here for your soap. Here's another pocket. And in essence, when we put the water port back on here real quick, this piece will just zip down, which then will allow us to have the water port. So let me actually go grab that real quick and put that in here for you guys to see. But here's what it looks like if you have the water port, got the hose hooked up in here. And then of course you can adjust this down further. I think this side will probably leave it up just to prevent it from splashing on the car, but got these little lock handles here to kind of keep it from moving in. There we go. I guess you can, I mean, you can set up a little portable pop toilet in here so you don't have to go too far from the tent. Like I said, not too bad. And I mean, here, I'm like trying to reach all the other, all the in, other side to it and I can barely reach it. I don't know how long my wingspan did, but yeah, anyway, check it out. Here it is. Woo. There we go. And then see the door's wide enough to allow you to get out. Boom. Like I said, it's got those adjustable straps, which I do like because it does allow for this to be adjusted to the height of your vehicle so it's not dragging or if it's not too low, it's not low enough. But yeah, I mean, in a windy condition, you definitely would want to stake it down to prevent uh, this from being all in your face if you're using a potty. Um, but you got the stakes in the garage, but there you go. There it is. Hang tight with me just a little bit further. All right guys, hang out just a little bit further with me. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away real quick so you guys can see how it puts away and if it's really easy or not. I think that's one of those things that, I mean, you wanna make sure it's easy to put away because you just don't wanna be dealing with something that's real cumbersome and difficult and too much of a pain to put away. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this bad boy up. Whoa. Boom, it's officially done. There we go. Final final words of it is, kind of, ouch, I hit my knee earlier. Anyways, final words is, I do like it. It's a unnecessary benefit. Um, it is nice to have a nice clean shower. Do you need a shower curtain to wash off now? Do you need a water port? Probably not. Could you make this for a fraction of the cost? Probably so. Um, is it nice just to have it and put it together? Yeah. Again, is it necessary? No. Is it irresponsible? Probably. Probably. But anyways, guys, it is super sunny out here today. Um, so, I'm putting a lot of stuff that we had on the Forerunner back on the Lexus, and that's just so... I want to make room in the garage in the shed, because I got stuff everywhere. Between the house and my parents' house. Stuff everywhere. Uh, I think we're planning a couple trips here soon, now that it's kind of cooled down over the U.S. The 100 plus degree weather is insane, crazy. Nobody wants to deal with that. Um, but there we go. It's good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this helps with the installation, with the purchase of this, if you guys are interested in it. Um, yeah. Anyways, 
Hope you guys liked it. If you guys made it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. I really, really do. It means a lot to me that you guys watch these videos. And I hope it helps you guys make a, uh, a smart consumer decision when it comes to buying all this gear. Because like I said, you don't really need it. It's, it's sometimes it's a lot, you know. Um, it's a necessary get no. But I just like having this stuff. So anyways, hope this helps anybody out there looking to make the purchase. Again, I appreciate you guys' time. On the next episode, we went ahead and got that fixed, got that all squared away. <sighs> we're installing more lights on the Lexus, so hang tight. We got some, uh, we're redoing or reusing some of the lights that we had on the, on the 4Runner that we don't have any use for them right now because they're in a box. So, But I do have some mountain brackets that we're going to be using, so hang tight for that. That's on the next video. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, hit the like button. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think on today's video, on the install and whatnot. Um, but I'm going, I'm going to go take a shower in the AC. I'm going inside. I appreciate you guys on the next video. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Remember, though, follow your path. Peace.